All right, so today our lesson is lesson 2.2 .2, using picture graphs. Now our essential question is, how can you read and interpret data in a picture graph? So our unlock the problem, a picture graph uses small pictures or symbols to show and compare information. Nick has a picture graph that shows how some students get to school, how many students ride the bus. And so we see the title of our graph or table is how we get to school. People walk, they bike, they bus, and they also get a ride in a car. Each of these happy faces is a symbol. It's very important that we recognize what each of the symbols mean. So for every happy face on here, it equals 10 students. So it is not three people that walk, it's 10, 20, 30 people that walk. So just make sure we understand that. Underline the words that tell you where to find the information to answer the question. How many happy faces are shown for bus? <clears throat> Okay, so each part of the table. Each row has a label that names one way students get to school. The title says that the picture graph is about how some students get to school. And the key tells that each picture or symbol stands for the way 10 students get to school. And so a picture graph is how we're going to find our information. And for the bus, I see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight smiley faces for next to bus. To define the number of students who ride the bus, count each happy face as 10 students. 10, 20, 30, and we just keep, keep going until we've counted 10 of them. But counted eight of them. So, eight, 80 students ride the school bus, uh, ride the bus to school. How many fewer students walk than ride the bus? Well, we knew that 80 students ride the bus, walk 10, 20, 30. So 80 take away 30. <clears throat> so 50 fewer students walk then ride the bus how many students were surveyed okay so that basically means add up all your all the happy faces basically or we can write how many they are for each column uh, for each uh, type and then add them all up 10 20 30 40 people ride a bike 10 20 30 40 50 60 people driving a car Okay, now let's combine them and add them. 60 and 40 is 100. 30 and 60 is 90. So 190 students were surveyed. Oh. No, excuse me. Let me back up here. I added 60 twice. 60 and 40 is 100. But I should be adding 30 and 80 for my second number. 30 and 80 is 110. Now I add those together, we get 210. The other way we could have done that is just skip count by tens, all the, all, counting all the happy faces. 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210. What if the symbol stands for five students? How many symbols would you need to show the number of students who walk to school? So if it was five, we would need twice as many 
happy faces. So we would need six. Because this would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, 68, using half a symbol. How many students chose an orange as their favorite fruit? And half of the picture stands for half the value of the whole picture, for instance. So a happy face stands for two students. If you had half of a happy face, that would be one student. So our favorite fruit is the title of the picture graph. We have four different types of fruits, bananas, apples, pears, and oranges. Each happy face in the key stands for two students. So it's not one, two, three, four, five students who chose banana, but rather two, four, six, eight, ten students chose banana. Apple, two, four, six. Pear, two, four. Orange, two, four, six, eight, plus half, which is one, so nine. So count the happy faces in the orange by twos, then add one. Two, four, six, eight, and like I showed you up there, we added one. Nine students chose an orange as their favorite fruit. <clears throat> Use the number of books students read picture graph for numbers one through, through three. Number of books students read, and we have three months here, September, October, November. Each symbol is two books. So it's not one, two, three, four books. It's two, four, six plus one. So seven books were read in September. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve books in October. Two, four, six, eight books in November. What does half of the symbol stand for? It stands for one book read. How many books did the students read in September? Two, four, six, six plus one, seven. How many more books did the students read in October than in November? October than in November. October. 12, November 8, and so four more books. Use the favorite game picture graph for numbers 4 through 10. So we have our favorite games. We have puzzles, card games, and board games. Each game piece stands for four students. So it's not one, two, three, four, five people who like puzzles. It's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 20 students chose puzzles. 4, 8, 12, plus 2, half of 4 is 2, for 14, and board games, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. How many students chose puzzles? 20 students. How many fewer students chose card games than board games? 24 students chose board games, 14 chose card games, so 10 fewer students. Which two types of games did a total of 34 students choose? Well, basically, well, we just have to add up the different possibilities. We have 20 and 14, 14 and 24, and 20 and 24. 44, 38, 34. So 34 would be puzzles.
and card games. Those two did not add up to 34. How many students were surveyed? Four and four is eight, two, four, five, 58 students. So survey basically means ask their opinions. And we're just gonna add up all the different votes. How many students did not choose card games? 14 students did choose card games. So there's two ways we can do this. We can go 58, take away 14, or 20 students chose puzzle games, 24 chose board games. So 44 did not choose card games. Jacob said one more student chose board games than puzzles. <clears throat> that would be true if each of the game symbols was one student. Because he went one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That would be one more. But that's one more symbol, which means four students. Okay, number 10. What if computer games were added as a choice and more students chose it than puzzles, but fewer students chose it than board games? How many students would choose computer games? Okay, so computer games. If we had computer games added to this table and it said more than puzzles, so we know it would have to be greater than 20, but less than 24. So how many students would choose computer games? 21, 22, or 23 students? Because those are greater than 20 but less than 24. <clears throat> okay, so now move on to page 70. And use the picture graph for numbers 11 and 12. Our act, picture, picture graph shows us favorite camp activity. And we had four choices, biking, hiking, boating, and fishing. And each son equals six students. So this is not one, two, three, four students. Three and a half in a sense. It's actually six, 12, 18 and half of six is three so 21 campers chose biking as their favorite activity six 12 18 24 liked hiking six 12 18 chose boating and six plus three or nine students our campers chose fishing as their activity. All right, so now the students who went to summer camp voted for their favorite activity, which we just counted. Which two activities received a total of 39 votes? What do we need to find? Which two activities received a total? of 39 votes. What steps will you use to find the problem? Okay, 
Okay, so in our table, we counted by sixes first. And then we're going to have to add to find which two add up to 39. All right, so 21 plus 24 is 45. 21 plus 18 is 39. 21 plus 9 is 30. 24 plus 18 is 42. So I know that we do have 39 already, but I do want to make sure that I've added all the possibilities. So here what I'm doing now, so I added biking with all of the other categories, other activities. Now I'm adding hiking with all the others. And hiking I already did in the first one with biking. So now hiking and boating is 42. Hiking and fishing is 24 plus 9 or 33. Okay, <clears throat> now boating, boating and hiking, we already added. Boating and biting, biking, we already added. So all we have to do is add boating and fishing. Boating and fishing is 18 plus 9 or 27. Okay, so which one was the correct answer? It was the 18 plus 21. Each happy, each star sun is worth six students. Each half is worth three. Biking and hiking was 45. Hiking and boating was 42. Biking and boating was 39. Fishing and hiking was 33. Choose the word from each box that makes the sentence true. 15 fewer students voted for blank than for blank. 15 fewer. If I take, fifth, if I take 15 from 21, that would be 6. So there's no, there's no 6 up there. 24, take away 15. Nine, so biking, uh, hiking was 24, fishing was nine, and that gives me a difference of 15. Okay. You'll now do your independent practice on online Go Math. If you have any questions, stop and ask me. Make sure you use your book answers to help you, as well as the video. Until tomorrow. Good luck.